I am gonna use some fusion ink and I am going to do a theme which is St. Patrick's Day. So you get at least four nails you can see and have an idea for your designs. You see we did, we did like um, different theme in each nail sometimes it's nice, but it's kind of the same time, it's kind of got confused, but if you have all in the same different design, so we'll give you an idea of what you can do, come up for next. Hi, petites, how are you? If I need it for 60 seconds, let's get the other one. And we are going to using a thinking green. I would think that green, but then we have the yellows, but yellows might blending into that. So we'll see. But I think is thinking green is good. It is good for beginner who's, we have a lot of questions, forms, um, all customers, how you can able to control or how you can able to do is um, fusioning without bleeding, without like, um, it blending all of the color together so the answer is for and then the suggest for is less is more so when you control the few yeah 60 seconds thank you when you control that fusioning you're using a less of a fusioning also which is the marbling also a less of a crystal clear which is the solution so then that way it won't bleeding all of the colors away because basically it's still is it's still alcohol based so this is will be the um, answer for all the beginner who's afraid of like you trying to make it perfect um all the veins right here but then the vein it doesn't go the way you expecting so we have the yellow nails you can do a lighter you can do a green and then you put if you do a green base you can do a fusioning delight which is yellow, but if you're doing yellow, you can do a green, however you would like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and apply the green on. It's so pigmented. I love this fusioning. It's so super easy to work with. And you will never have to worry about, um, you can't get the perfect veins. And before you start doing it, I will let it set for just a second because it's still like it's kind of setting in and drying. So when you are um, using a crystal clear, which is a solution, then you won't have the issue with bleeding issue, which is that happened a lot to all of us especially you know when I first beginning is doing it too so I have a piece of paper here because I did it before I did it down here so you don't see it and uh, my crystal clear which is the solution I freaking love this solution when you're doing a solution together is already like a pre made the ratio for you so it's not like completely an acetone that you wash everything out or alcohol when you like it's just bleeding it again so now i'm going to using a crystal clears i'm going to start blending it like the way i want it to create my veins and i'm blending it to make it look so natural looks and i wipe it off on a piece of paper i have right here and continue with that and remember, less is more. I didn't use too much of the crystal clear because I don't want my uh, marble look or my vein to be washed off. So the same concept, if you want to do more than one colors, you're going to using the same concept. And so that way you can create or achieve your fusioning perfectly. You see that I don't even use any of the brush at all. But this crystal clear is helping my work done so much neater. I love it to shine this with a beginner because, you know, sometimes we think we're blending it more and with a lot of solution, it's going to make it better. But actually, it just wash everything you just been create. So wipe it off before I'm deep back into my bottles 
This is will keep your brush so nice and clean and is keep your crystal clear, stay nice and clean, crystal clear without is contaminating the colors. Wipe it off and dip it back in. You can see that I use just really good, not too much of a ratio. It is so simple when you're using uh, this crystal clear and with our marbling, it's so freaking pigmented. So it's really simple and easy. Even like you're a first time beginner can really achieve this easily. See, so if you're happy with this, you can start doing your um, foil veins. You can add foil veins on it. If you don't want, you can do a um, gel painting, which is yesterday I did a foil. Um, I am going to do the gel painting today. So just to alternate so then you get an, a variety. So I am going to use my golden touch. It's freaking cool because I love this. Look at that. It's really pigmented. And then my um, tinted brush. Can you grab me my tinted brush? Do I have it? Um, maybe, maybe on that side. I think it's right there. No. Sorry. Thank you. Here's my weapon, tinted brush, the thinner band is the detail brush. So awesome, compact. The thicker band is the gel brush, which is I am going to using this end right now. Drop it. So get my pick up a little bit. I just want to get a little bit thicker on that part to make it look really nice veins looking. And again, you can really like, sorry, move. If you want to add the foil in, like the same way as the nails yesterday we did, we can use a foil gel or you can do this. If you're happy with this, you can pop this guy into the lamp for about 60 seconds and then top this one and then this design is completely done. And I know that every single time you do a marble ink, it turned out a freaking a different way, which is great because they are not supposed to be identical the same every single time. So if you're doing a single colors of marble ink, it's gonna come out different. And then if you're doing a, like two or three or four or five different colors, it's gonna come out completely different as well. So I'm really happy with this. If you are not, you can draw more of your veins here and then pop in the lamps. For about 60 seconds. Hi, Spa Molex. How are you? Purple Princess. Hello. How are you? Hi, it's Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Saturday. Hope everyone is really busy. And um, if you work tomorrow, have a good day working busy. Hi, Sasha. And if you are um, off tomorrow, have a great time with your family. Enjoy your day off. Yes, Spamalix, go ahead. You have a question. This fabulous um, shiny sky. Warm up some yellow. Can you make me? Um, hmm? 
just ask me, can you make me one more like this one? Yeah. Great, so I am going to using a no wipe top coat. And I get the no wipe top coat. I have the bottom, open it right here. And then top coat that and cure for 60 seconds. And this nail are completely done. Uh, the yellow ones, maybe. It's really, really awesome. Great. Pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds. 